So uh, I was very uh, excited to uh, excited to have this uh, EVC to be installed in my Nissan Navara D40. So I just uh, received the part today. I really wanted to test this out. I have tested this with the uh, Nissan Navara NP300 D23 a few days back, and it was amazing. It skills the it skills the uh, power. So I just got it. I'm gonna install it and then see how it is looks like and how how it gonna respond. So before I unbox this, just wanted to give a quick uh, explanation on uh, what it is and how does it work. So basically, this EVC it's a, it's a total control. Uh, uh, it's, this is it's basically it's, it's a throttle control that reduces the uh, throttle lag to you know improve the throttle response. So uh, this can experience in uh, in 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 various ways, uh, uh, and also you know it, which makes uh, very often in uh, uh, modern you know fly by wire uh, vehicles. So in 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 that regards, uh, testing. This part and the, the it was got disconnected. Uh, so basically, this gives you the uh, uh, it's allowing you to have you know precise input into how to you know drive the vehicle uh, on an off road uh, to control your uh, power of the vehicle. And it's a reference being mapped here, so into these little devices. So it's basically the the bottom line of this product is the. Uh, uh, Remapping to the uh, uh, throttle system, and this is a little display. So it is uh, ultimate performance. So, and this can be pasted uh, nicely on the easy access within your vehicle. This is the device that can connect it with the other end of the uh, wire. Basically, these two will get connected like this, and uh, so this socket will connect directly to the uh, the total uh, the paddle sensor, and the other end will connect it to the uh, other side of this. So basically, this is how it is. So this side will get connected to the, the paddle sensor. I'll show you while I'm installing this. And this end will get connected to the uh, other side of the, uh, the paddle send sensor. The, other, the socket that we removed, it will get connected here. And it comes with the two cable tie. And the manual, how to operate it. Double tap, and then the this sticker. So people who read this know this, so they know that is being controlled by the uh, EVC. Let's get it installed, installed, and then see how it's gonna respond. So I'm gonna install in this monster the EVC. It's a five minutes lesser than five minutes job to do the uh, installation. So all what you need to do is this, this is a paddle sensor. So you need to. Uh, Unclick, unlock the uh, the pedal original uh, uh, socket from the Wahanas. Take it off and uh, so the other end of the uh, ABCs. Plug it here. Done and this end will get connected here. It's super duper easy process. I think on the other side. Let me just take off the camera for a minute. <laughs> 
connect like that and then lock it so that's all so you need to do a proper wiring here instead of it being get stuck in morning you taking the uh, ultimate seven so ultimate nine and this is what happens and uh, i'm sure it is nothing to do with the system because it basically create more uh, uh, power and then the circulation so it goes to happen to burst the uh, egr return line it's a hose i'm going to replace that as well so all these things needs to be considered when you are uh, replacing such thing because i was a bit worried and I have replaced all the uh, old hoses with the new ones. Unfortunately, this happens. But let's see what has happened with this. So it is not just, you know, plug and play. So there are consequences also you need to be uh, uh, think of. So uh, before the test drive, before I tested this EVC device, so uh, let me introduce the functions uh, uh, that has. So uh, basically, this has a, uh, three main uh, functions. So, uh, so this is the mode, uh, the mode button, and this is the set button. So in mode, so this is the automatic uh, controller where I need response according to the uh, uh, needed uh, uh, throttle response. And uh, the next one is off. So this is basically uh, completely off or the isolate the EVC uh, model the mode and this is economy so economy you can set from uh, 1 to 9 economy 0 1 to 9 you can set according to your uh, uh, budget or it's basically the budget driven one I'm gonna do this test uh, in every mode uh, and the next one is the ultra so this is something you just get you know fired up and then it get boom so that ult uh, ultimate also you can set from uh, uh, 0 to 9 and there is a, there's something uh, which is very important in this uh, setup so uh, once you get it uh, get the, once you receive the uh, EVs the device and it's not a just a plug and play you need to switch uh, according to your transmission so to do that so there are it gives you two different options uh, where basically for the manual transmission and then the uh, automatic transmission uh, since I have the automatic trans transmission I'm gonna set this into the uh, automatic uh, transmission mode what you need to do is you need to keep on uh, pressing the mode button for three seconds one three right and it gives you two different options so basically zero zero and then the 88 in this regard the zero zero is for uh, manual transmission and uh, 88 is the 88 is for the uh, automatic transmissions so once that done you set it up and then uh, keeps on driving so i basically i i i, I generally keep it on a uh, automatic control model so based on my uh, uh, driving skill based on my requirement i'm gonna change it to a uh, uh, different mode except for the economy i basically love to have it on ac or else the uh, the ultra so uh, this what happens is the consequences right but it's good i'm very happy that it happens uh, during the first test of installing the the little uh, uh, evc device what i was doing is i was uh, i have tuned this to a uh, ultimate nine with uh, the maximum throttle response and while i was driving like few kilometers like two or three kilometers uh, there was a water leak uh, i just indicate i got uh, indicated so um I was uh, wondering, it's, uh, it's a hose actually, the water hose, but going through it, uh, uh, it wasn't that, so uh, got my team back to the, uh, and then have looked at, it was caused by uh, the weak uh, water jacket, so you cannot, you know, repair it uh, on the road, so I'm going to take this to the workshop, and then uh, let's have a look, so if there are all the water jackets needs to be replaced, we're gonna do that. Uh, and in fact actually a few days back also I noticed uh, a few drops of the uh, coolant and we have checked everything the hoses are hose were okay uh, lucky uh, it got it's it a good device for me to buy the other other way around to test that thing so then it has built the pressure and then boom so I'm very happy of that
uh, and let's see because uh, yeah, the water jacket got uh, weakened or the burst uh, just below the uh, fuel pump so we have to uh, check this out 